Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be talking about all the books I read in September. So in the month of September, I read seven books. So I feel like it was a decent reading month for me. I didn't really get through all the TBR I had planned, but I still got through the important ones that I felt like I really needed to read. The first book I start, I read uh, was a reread and that one was The Beautiful Ones by Silvio Moreno Garcia. I had a really strong urge at the end of August to reread this book so I decided some tougher I was gonna like dedicate some time just to reread it and read some of my favorite parts and just reread from my favorite characters and I still absolutely love it. I still stand by this book. I loved it so much. I think it's one of Silvia's best books that I've read so far. If you haven't read it before, I recommend you, you do. It is about a girl named Nina who has always had this special ability to basically uh, make things fly. She's had telepathic abilities for a really long time and she is the only one in her family that has this ability. She's from like a small wealthy family in the countryside so she goes into the uh, more metropolitan city to stay with her cousin and his wife in order to basically take part in like the coming out celebrations of society and to hopefully find a husband. So she is very close with her her cousin but her cousin's wife um does not like her she thinks that nina is a country bumpkin essentially and so she just is ready to get rid of her like she doesn't like her personality she really doesn't like the way she kind of lives life and nina can basically tell that this girl does not like her so um while at a party one night nina runs into hector and so she meets him, she thinks he's very intriguing, there's a bit of an age gap, but that's okay. And she kind of starts to take a liking to him. Meanwhile, Hector is also an ability user, and he's made his, like, fortune from that. So he's come back to the city in order to find his past, oops, in order to find his past love. And kind of win her back. But what he doesn't realize is his past love is the wife of Nina's cousin. So then this turns into a game of jealousy for Hector. And from there just kind of chaos ensues and there's just a lot of manipulations happening and it's just a wild time. But I really enjoyed Nina and Hector. I think they're my favorite characters in this story. Um, I absolutely hated the cousin's wife. I truly think she got what she deserved and... Yeah, just I've never felt so much hate for a character before until I read this book and that's why I love it so much because I normally don't feel like this towards a lot of characters. So then the next book I read was another reread and that was Glint by Raven Kennedy. This is part of the Guild series and I give this five stars. Um, I am trying to reread the series before the last book comes out in December and so last month I read Glint and um, this was pretty good I loved it still I loved it the first time I read it and so I love it I loved it this time around too this is where we get to really see um Oren kind of start to kind of gain her independence back a little bit and start to um interact more with Slade and his peoples and we start to really kind of see or Oren's like origins again too like we kind of start a little bit learn a little bit more about her background and how she kind of ended up where she is at this moment in the book so uh i love that i loved the background knowledge and i'm definitely going to be picking up um gleam probably in october maybe november ish who knows probably october and going from there Alright, so the next book I read was The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This was a buddy read with Ashley and Ray. I gave this four stars. I wasn't really sure what to expect when starting this book, but I actually loved it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, this follows a girl who, she lives in this kingdom, society, where there's people with like the normal blood and then those with uh gold blood and the girl and they're usually girls so girls who are born with gold blood are seen as demons and usually they are kept and killed but the catch is they can't die unless they find their true death so like 
if you behead them, they'll come back to life unless that is their, like, final death. So the main character, she soon finds out that she has gold blood. And so she is sold off into the king's army. And it's a king, it's the king's army of gold blooded girls and they are supposed to fight against the like monsters that have been coming in and like terrorizing their like tribes and stuff like that and when she gets there she kind of like forms her own little sisterhood and there's a lot more things that she's realizing and there's a lot more importance to their blood that she's like learning too i recommend you guys check it out i re i know it came out like one or two years ago and i hadn't heard really anybody talk about it so the fact that i'm reading it now and it's really good i feel like is a travesty that nobody talked about how good it was so i'm excited to get to the second one because the third one comes out next year and i'm just really really intrigued to see where she takes this story all right so the next book i read was beneath the sugar sky by seanan mcguire um i give this one five stars this is the third book in the wayward children series i really enjoyed this one i thought the characters were really spunky i thought the characters were so individualized and i just i just like this world that seanan is it has created the wayward children series is this concept of what happens to the kids when they come back from narnia so these kids find their doors to specific and very interesting worlds and there they find their true selves and they find like a place to really be who they want to be and who they are and sometimes they accidentally get kicked out or they accidentally fall out of their world and so when that happens they have a hard time adjusting to society and back to the real real world so they are taken to this school school where we were children and there they are taught and kept until they are either able to find their world again their door or until they are able to adapt back into society so this is the third book in that series um this follows a girl who falls through her world and she's looking for a character that we meet in the first book and the issue is that character is not there anymore and so now everybody has to kind of deal with the repercussions of that and try to figure out how to help her and get her back to her world. So the next book I read was Flamefall by Rosaria, Rosaria Manda. So this was a buddy read with Ray and Monet. I gave this 3.5 stars. Um, this is the second book to Fireborn and I thought it was just okay. Again, like the, so far the first and the second book have just been okay. I haven't been like super wowed by them but I haven't hated them either. I'm intrigued enough to read the third book and see how she ends this trilogy overall. But I don't feel like a super duper excitement or anything like that. Um, this follows a world or a kingdom where um, when, before you start the series there was like a royal regime that was in place and it was very much like a dictatorship almost and a rebellion had just taken place and a new regime had just taken over and killed off the old regime. But before they killed off everybody in those families, there was one boy who was saved and dropped off into an orphanage. And so everybody kind of forgot his identity and didn't realize he was still alive. So he managed to get, basically grow up in the society hiding his identity. And so the story follows him and his friend Annie, who also was in the orphanage. And it, sh it follows them as they grow within the ranks of this new regime and um, get stuck with the negative consequences of this regime and how they're dealing with the effects of war. I don't know if that makes sense, but essentially like they, they eventually have to go to war again and so this regime is showing that it's not much different from the old regime and so they have to kind of deal with that and figure out how to fix it and help the people within their society. The next book I read was The Diviners by Libba Bray. This was a buddy read with Ashley and Robin. I gave this 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed this story. I thought it was really fun. It was really scary and creepy and spooky to me so I kind of enjoyed that a little bit. It follows a girl named Evie who it's 
is living in the 1920s and I think she was in Ohio and something happens at a party and she is shipped off to New York to stay with her uncle who runs a museum of paranormal things and there she gets sucked into uh, helping her uncle solve a murder while also dealing with these abilities that she's had for the majority of her life. But while we're also getting the perspective of Evie, we're also getting this perspective of multiple other people who also have special abilities in the story. And so you're trying to kind of figure out how all this is going to come together. And I really enjoyed it. By the end of the first book, you have more questions than answers, honestly. And so I'm intrigued to read the second one to see where we go from here because you're kind of trying to figure out how these all how all these people are going to connect to each other and how their abilities are going to be either utilized or something so i'm just here for it it's giving squad but like the squad hasn't assembled yet and then the last book i read this month was in the weeds by bk borison um i gave this one 3.5 stars and I don't think I enjoyed it as much as her first book, Love Light Farms, but I definitely still enjoyed this for the most part, and I enjoyed the characters. Um, I really loved Beckett. I think he's such a sweetheart, and I like a lot. I enjoyed the fact that he was so tough looking, but he was really just a softy on the inside. And I'm definitely looking forward to picking up her other books in this like series almost because I think she has one and uh, she's like two more I think one is about to be released probably next year or so so I'm really looking forward to checking them out I think she just has a refreshing way of writing and um I just really enjoy the feeling of that so those are all the books I read in September um thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys read down below in September maybe some of your favorites that you read um if you liked the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns leave all that in the comment section leave me an emoji if you're not good at commenting I'm gonna say leave me um one of your favorite fall emojis and if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button you guys are awesome flowers in a world full of